reduce their matrices to their ordinary uh, echelon forms u okay what are the free variables which are the pivot variables okay uh, let me start with a so our first pivot is this one here okay so we're starting with a um, so if our first pivot is one uh, we're gonna make zero below it so subtract uh, or multiply uh, row 2 uh, times minus 1 or let me, let me write here uh, row 2 times minus 1 uh, plus row 1 or row 1 times minus 1 plus row 2 because I'm changing row 2 so I will get 1 2 2 4 6 and then we get uh, 0 0 uh, 1 uh, 2 uh, 3 and then we get and then this one is the same okay so here um, the second column has a zero pivot has a zero in the pivot position it's okay so uh, the second pivot will be one in the third column okay uh, and so what I will do now is I will multiply a row two by minus one and add it to row three and if I do that I will get let me copy and paste this let's change the last one uh, if we do that notice that the last two rows are the same so we'll get zero 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 okay so uh, there is no third pivot here uh, which means uh, the uh, this is the ordinary um, uh, account form that's it this is our u um, so the pivot columns are the first and the third column this is a pivot and this is a pivot so first column third column these are our pivot columns and uh, the pivot variables therefore are x1 and x3 And the free variables are the rest, columns 2, 4, and 5. That's for part A. Okay, for B, uh, let's write B here and uh, we'll do the same thing so for part b let's use this color here okay b is 2 4 2 uh, 0 what was it 0 4 4 yeah 0 4 4 0 8 8 okay this is my matrix b okay so my first pivot here is 2 okay uh, now uh, the entries below the two are all zeros so there's nothing I need to do here um, the second pivot will be on its diagonal is the four so uh, I need to make this guy here a zero so I could do two times row two minus two times row two plus row three and if I do that let me copy and paste um, 
first two columns. If I do that, I will get 0, 0, minus 8 plus 8, and minus 8 plus 8, 0. So I got all zeros on the third row. There's no third pivot. Uh, therefore, this will be my uh, reduced echelon form for my matrix. Okay, and the pivot columns, we said two on the first column, so this is a pivot column, and the four on the second column, so those are the pivot columns. Uh, so my pivot variables, so I conclude that my pivot variables are where my pivot uh, columns are. This is uh, column 1 and column 2, x1, x2, and my free variables are the last one, x3. That does it.